So I think that I spent like the last year like kind of like removed and spaced out. Um, and I think that I just kind of felt like I was like disassociating from a lot of what I had experienced in a way that kind of felt like you were floating in space. A record should encapsulate a period of time uh, in your life, or like, I guess in general, like it should just be some kind of like archive of time. I wanted to make like a really heavy-handed concept record. I tried to push like my personal life away a little bit because the last record was so personal, and I wanted to write like a sci-fi musical. This was like about a year ago, my friend had applied for the Mars One project and was rejected. And then around the same time, there was this Time Magazine article that came out about like the 100 people that were like selected to be a part of the Mars One project. And I just like was really fascinated more in just like the psychological element of what it would mean to have like 20 people inhabit a planet and those be like the last 20 people that you spend time with and like how would their accents like form and what kind of new vocabulary would arise. What like psychological feelings will you have like being stuck? Would you become fixated on your like own face and like your pores and like would there be like a new word that you, they would develop to like express these kinds of feelings? I had a couple of songs that I thought could work well uh, in that format. Machinist was the first song that I wrote for this record and it is very much like a dialogue between a, a woman and a robot. But then when I tried to do that more for other songs, it was, it was a little bit more of a struggle because it, I, I couldn't not also infuse my personal feelings and try to sort out all of these things that I had already been thinking about. I changed so much in this last year that I felt like I needed to, to figure that out too. I needed to write about that as well. The more that I like talk about this album, I feel like it's, it's like a record about um, like sorting and compartmentalizing pain. Uh, and trying to relearn how to feel again. But I think even like the title of Soft Sounds from Another Planet is kind of just about like what it's like to look at your pain and your experiences in a more like objective, like removed way of just like, you know, just like a soft sound from another planet or whatever. Um, and how that helps sometimes to just not think that everything is about you. 